hello and welcome everybody it is pox again so today i wanted to go ahead and update you guys with the day two slash three video <clears throat> for the hex blast character uh now for this hierophant i did initially plan on going pure upfront damage but i realized the clear sucks ass if you don't have some form of explosion like a cultist gets a profane bloom so all i decided to do was throw in an elemental proliferation support uh, and I picked up all the shock chants here for consistency. This is probably going to get respect, especially this when I get like an intuitive leap. But for now, it just feels good for me right now for my progression. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and jump into a quick map. But before I do, we're using Archmage, Control Destruction, Elite Prolift, Hex Blast. Uh, that's my four link. I haven't found a five link yet. Increased Duration, Arcane Cloak, Arcane Surge. And then I've got Sigil of Power, Epic... Oh yeah, just for the duration. Efficacy and increased duration, and then LE weakness, onslaught, impending doom, conductivity. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. I've got a T7 map here, since unfortunately that's the highest I've got, since I haven't been playing too much heist, since the league has been crashing, is very unstable for me, and I have very bad performance in it, it really sucks. So some things I'm really curious about, I definitely want to look for a Vixen's Entrapment. I think a Vixen's will do wonders with this build since it will give us plus one to our curse limit and then we can socket in our extra curses there that we wouldn't have had anyway. So I definitely want to try out like Temporal Chains as an example. Very good defensive curse and will keep targets frozen longer um, if I don't kill them by that time. I must have time. I hate this map. And that right there is why we have acrobatics. Because when I dash into a pack and I'm stupid, I don't die. So much space in between monsters here, man. It's nuts. There we go. Oh, Hexproof Pack. Hexproof Packs, ironically, are really not that bad. Unless it's a, like, monster type that inherently, like, runs away and spreads out, then it's a pain in the ass because then they're Hexproof and they, like, all run away from each other. Super tanky base mobs with Hexproof is pretty shit, but usually it's not too bad. Just don't run Hexproof maps. Hexproof maps are bad. Unless you go for a Cospreys. Okay, coming to the boss. Let's see. Still working on the single target. It's not too bad. It's usually pretty safe since most things are frozen. Um, mods do hurt the build a lot, though. Like on a on a regular map with no defense ma or mods, it's actually much better. So I'd rather roll rippy mods and just perma freeze everything than roll things with like uh, elemental resist or LE equilibrium or monster life. Or I guess that was monster life. It wasn't Hello. too bad. Oh, 
Yeah, but so far, it hasn't been too bad on the character. Uh, definitely, next step, I need to grab some jewels. Got like a three-point jewel here. Got the one-pointer there that I grabbed. The basic jewel slot here. The two-pointer there. Two-pointer here. Um, an intuitive leap would save a lot of points over here because I'd probably drop this whole wheel and then the one, two, three right there. And then we just have skittering runes. And then we could grab... I think I potentially drop this node. And maybe this node, because it's not very good with acro. Save two points there. Yeah, it's pretty good. Dark Arts, if I'm still dual wielding, because it's not too bad. Gives us spell damage for one point. I forgot all the other things I grabbed. Blast Radius is actually not super beneficial to us, because the Hex Boom doesn't really work very well with that. I'll have to see everything again. Pretty happy with my choice over at... Uh, Acrobatics, I really enjoy it, even though the tree looks so fucked. It's honestly, it, it's pretty nice. Uh, another nice thing is, early on, you can get 2% mana on kill here, and another 2% mana on kill here. This makes it so you can pretty much run any negative regen map mods, and during mapping, you have great sustain on bosses. You know, just uh, use your mana, pa <laughs> mana potion a lot. I am also going to have to grab Aqueous Accelerant here. A very nice node for the... 5% increased flash duration, flash duration, flask effect, and then cast speed, and then mana recovery rate. I might also grab a shield and switch the shield charge. That would be a super good option. Another great way for damage scaling is elemental overload for 40% more Ellie damage. I'm just waiting to get a trigger weapon from Betrayal so I can have trigger socketed spells and then use uh, Stormbrand with wave of conviction and like increased crit so that's always active and the lightning exposure is always active yeah but so far i'm actually pretty happy with the character so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys are having a good time as well if you've got any questions feel free to drop them down below or feel free to come to twitch.tv slash pox just make sure you've at least looked at some of the previous stuff before you slam me with questions <laughs> so take care have a wonderful time and i'll see you boys all tomorrow